sides of our tires. All right, now that we've gone over. This place is great. We're here in Lynchfield, Illinois, at this campground called Camper Companion RV Park. Um, guys, this is a must stop. It's not a resort, but it is super clean, very nice, and this is one of the very few camp sites that we've stopped at that I could literally say i don't really see anything wrong with it look over there up next to their house there's a bunch of hummingbirds around that oh. hummingbird feeder it's like i don't know six to eight of them yep wow i don't know if you guys can see that but they have bird feeders everywhere you and we're gonna walk you around and, and point them out but in this guy they have they have um propane gas here they have a cute little shop and office um, now it's not like a store, but it is a cute little office that you can go in, you can check out books they have in there, you can get your propane, you can um, sit and relax, and then they have a laundry facility right there. Um, the owners, we met the owners and they were really nice. Um, in fact, the owner makes these little bird houses um, that are all over. If you can see, I think they've, they only, have the have gotten the place since 2018 and these are all the updates they've done they these are little um what do you call those lighthouses lighthouses sorry and it looks like he's working on getting one for each site and as you can see he does a, an exquisite job at it now not every site has a lighthouse. Uh, lighthouse not every site has a picnic table but they've put down new rock everywhere this is all their facility and yeah it is close to the road and that's why we liked it for a one-nighter stopover but we felt safe and it was clean and look at i mean it's just the rock right here we were completely level in minutes which is fantastic um this is a premium uh slot right here site uh, the, this couple is probably sightseeing around. We're not. We're only 30 minutes from Abraham Lincoln's um, library. So there's there's also um, Springfield, Illinois, which is only about 30 minutes away. So you do have some things to do around here that or visit family. It looks like they probably have some family around. But you see how they have um purposely put these bird feeders out which i think is just so cute because we have been listening to birds and it hasn't been overwhelming like oh my gosh we're listening to birds um it has been really nice to see well it, it helps it helps mask the the traffic noise from the interstate yeah that's I, a good point. I honestly i mean you can hear the you can hear the traffic on the interstate but it's it, it's not like it bothers you mm -mm. um but do you see how they they've, they've done landscaping clearly like you know they take care of this place which is something that we have found in in our travels that <laughs> some people just don't do and you'd rather boondock because they're not taking care of their sites here's another bird feeder and they have these bird feeders like i said all over the place around here um this is all of their land not over there where the trailers are but the tree sites things like that i mean you could just take your picnic over here and they have a small basketball field see all over there used to be old sites when a um, long time ago the the, pri the prior owners had it and this right here was another road coming in and you and the and there's like concrete spots where each each spot was um but now they have like basketball goals they hit you know they yeah and then this i mean for as small as this park is um but they have this humongous dog run 
which is very nice. You just let your dog out. Yeah, Charlie loved it. There you go. That's, it's big, I don't know. It's big. And they have all of that big dog park. I mean, I've been to, or we've been to really big RV parks and their dog run is either on Rock. bricks, concrete, rocks, and it's completely too small. No, I mean, it's, just it's really a little. Not. If they, if that area out there, if that, I mean, if they had like festivals and stuff like that, it, it, that'd be pretty cool. Well, we don't know that they don't, but. That's true, they may. They may have. Uh... And then you're back this side of the park, you're backed up to yet another cornfield. Um, <laughs> Which in Illinois, there's, it's like, it just seems like there's thousands of miles of uh, cornfields here. And this is a, um, and this is a 50 amp, all hookup, uh, full hookup. And here, it, yet another bird feeder. Um, I'm gonna go around here and show you this um, pavilion that they have. And the pavilion is actually all enclosed with screens. Um, because of COVID, I don't know how many people use it, but it's available. Um, there's picnic tables in there. And then they have this. Now, some of the sites do have fire rings. And because of the, the stonework around here that they brought in, they brought in all this stone to, uh, to level things out, which on top of everything makes it look nice. But... Um, it's, it makes it safer if you're going to do um, a campfire. So we have all this cute little area right here okay, that so they've done. They got, that's a horseshoe pit right there where mm -hmm. those cones are. They have a horseshoe pit right there. They have this, which is, you know, just really <laughs> nice. And the, the woodwork that the owner here does is great. Um, I'm betting he made that. <laughs> Uh, she said he did. Oh, the, he did. Yeah. Wow. And he put down some some more seed and stuff. That's why the uh, the hay spread out. Gotcha. And then this looks like a, a new playground. I mean, it's not falling apart. This is new stuff. There is benches everywhere around this place. And then they have in this um, pavilion. They have a set of picnic tables let's go in they have a set of picnic tables all around i mean you could have a really good fun time in here they have like a little bandstand stage and it looks like they've had bands here before which is nice we have been to campgrounds that provide that which i think is awesome um not dirty not dingy this is nice. It is a cloudy day, so I don't know if you're, if I'm able to really get the full effect of what's going on here. And then if you have visitors, they have a special parking right here for them. Yes, they have a separate parking lot, so you're not like trying to push your RV through a, a entanglement of cars and vehicles, which we've done that before. They also have um, facilities, and they also have a little bit of a camping, uh, tent camping, way over there. Um, so, all in all, there is nothing bad about this park at all. I mean, come over, stop over for a night, stop over for a couple days. Litchfield even has a drive-in movie theater and a lake nearby for fishing and boating. Please put Camper Companion on your list of RV parks to visit in Litchfield, Illinois. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoy our reviews, please subscribe, ring that notification, and leave us a comment because we would love to hear from you. Enjoy the ride!